I am what I am. I am my own special creation. So come take a look. Give me the hook or the ovation. It's my world that I want to have a little pride in. My world, and it's not a place I have to hide in. Life's not worth a damn till you can say I am what I am. The news hit Facebook the morning of Tuesday, November 27th. Carnival Cruise Lines bands drag on their quote, drag stars at sea, end quote, cruise, as reported by the Daily Cause. A travel agency called Al and Chuck Travel worked with Carnival Cruises to produce a 30-odd star show cruise from the reality TV show RuPaul's Drag Race. A week or less before departure, guests received an email that was marked urgent notice from the vice president of carnival cruises vicky ray r-e-y in it ms ray states although we realize this group consists solely of adults we nonetheless expect all guests to recognize that minors are aboard and refrain from engaging in appropriate conduct in public areas she went on to note, quote, We are sorry to say that any guest who violates our policies and or whose behavior affects the comfort and enjoyment of other guests will be disembarked at their own expense and no refund will be given, end quote. We can assume that a good portion of the other guests on board might be uncomfortable and not enjoy anything having to do with quilt bag culture. One passenger said, quote, I'm worried that holding my partner's hand could get a rise out of some parents. Will I be kicked off for that? What about a romantic kiss at dinner? This is awful. The letter also states, quote, arrangements have been made for drag performances in the main theater featuring stars from Logo TV. These functions will be private and only the performers are permitted to dress in drag while in the theater. Guests are not allowed to dress in drag for the performances or in public areas at any time during the cruise. AlanChuck.com tried to spin it as this is not discriminatory toward drag, it's merely that all costumes gay and straight are not permitted. I went to the Carnival Cruise website. I looked under the subject what to wear. I also looked under security for things that are prohibited and not allowed. Nowhere, nowhere are there any prohibitions against costumes or against masks. I even put it in the search engine and it came up empty. There are no prohibitions against masks and costumes. Now, Carnival also holds Halloween balls and costume contests. So, there seems to be a double standard in place. I've never, ever attended a drag event in which only the performers were in drag. And I don't think anybody else has either. Some of the comments to this included, quote, If they had made this information available six months before the cruise, instead of six days, they wouldn't have been able to fill a pontoon. I am so disgusted by this, end quote. Here's another comment, quote, when were we to be told this? We've spent hundreds of dollars on new outfits, and we learn now, end quote. Quote, knowing this policy ahead of time might have influenced our decision regarding booking this cruise, and now we feel trapped on a vacation where we no longer feel welcome, end quote. A maritime personal injury attorney named Jim Walker is interested in this. He says, quote, Wow, that's some serious chutzpah. Take money from your guests for a drag queen cruise and tell them that, uh, they can't dress like a drag queen, end quote. And he thinks there may be a lawsuit there. 
The update on the story is that as of noon mountain time on the same day, the Washington Blade is now reporting that Carnival has relented on the ban on drag, and anyone who wishes to get a refund for any reason will get one, including non-refundable travel-related expenses. The Blade quotes a letter from Carnival President Jerry Cahill, who says the controversy was a result of a miscommunication apparently between the event's organizers, Alan Chuck, and the cruise line. Quote, the group Drag Stars at Sea includes several performances by stars of Logo TV as part of a series of private events on board, he wrote. When the group was presented to us, we were advised that only the performers would be dressed in drag during the private events. However, we are now aware that there was not clear communication to members of the group, and therefore anyone who wishes to dress in drag may do so. Please keep in mind that our safety and security procedures require guests to present government-issued ID and to be recognizably that person. I think the worst betrayal is not Carnival. It is Alan Chucks. Alan Chucks posted on their Facebook page in the middle of all this, Dear valued customers and friends, we hope that this brief note finds you well. By now we are sure that most of you traveling with us on the upcoming Drag Stars at Sea Caribbean Adventure Revenge of the Winch have received Carnival's letter regarding their regulations concerning costumes and masks, parentheses, under which traditional drag falls under, in parentheses. That's the way it's written. We are sympathetic to your sentiments that you have expressed via email and social media. As a gay man who has been partnered for 25 years, I have suffered many forms of discrimination because I am part of the GLBT community. But please take note, Carnival's regulation is not an example of discrimination. Carnival is an ally of the GLBT community. Notice he keeps putting it GLBT to put gay first. Please understand that this cruise could not even be happening on the glory if Carnival was not an ally of our segment of society. <laughs> when they say that they are a family-friendly cruise line, they mean it in both the traditional and metaphorical sense of the phrase. Carnival's no-costume rule is not meant to be an insult to the gay community. As a gay business, we would not have organized this cruise if they were prejudiced against gay people. This rule goes for both gay and straight passengers that travel all Carnival cruises. It is in response to the post-9-11 world we now live in. It is meant to protect passengers and guests, not to marginalize a few. Additionally, we know that transgendered members of our community will be aboard with us during the event. Please do not worry. Carnival's rules were not meant toward you. Your right to live your identity is always supported. Finally, Drag Stars at Sea is a cruise venue for you to meet the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race up close and personal, just as you would not go in costume parentheses, other than on Halloween, and parentheses, to a club to see them perform, neither should you on the glory. Again, our desire was always to bring this incredible talent together in one place for you to enjoy, along with all the other benefits of the value, in caps, of a mixed guest cruise. We pointed out to you that a private charter, parentheses, and they are excellent cruises, and parentheses, can be double, in all caps, what you are paying for this experience. This is an opportunity for your favorite entertainers to shine for you, all caps. We will, of course, have our parties and events aboard, parentheses, the rules of which are outlined in your travel package, in parentheses, for you to join in on the fun. Ultimately, let's use this opportunity to set an example so that all the world can see that the GLBT community can follow the rules and regulations just like everyone else. Finally, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, we have done our absolute best in creating this event. We have tried to communicate effectively and bring you the best possible experience. 
which we believe would not be available to you any other way. At the end of the cruise, I hope you will agree with my sentiment humbly expressed here. Chuck and I look forward to meeting you on board. We promise you the best time of your lives. Sincerely, Al Ferguson. To which I responded, Oh, so trans people who are binary are covered. All other genderqueer, transvestites, intersexed, etc. are thrown overboard. Everybody must wear the clothing forced on them by a gender binary society. This has nothing to do with 9-11. It's a load of crap. Gender queers did not blow up any buildings. You may be a gay man, but you are obviously a cisgendered gay man and identifying with hetero binaries. In other words, Mary, you pass as one of them and you're going to enforce an outdated, unhealthy, and arbitrary dress code that requires people with penises to wear pants and people with vulvas to wear non-pants. This is sick. This is toxic, this is extreme disrespect to your passengers, and this is a public relations nightmare. Shove your Chick-fil-A cruise. I call a full-on boycott of this company and all its subsidiaries. We're tired of being told only our money is welcome, but not ourselves. We've always followed cis rules and regulations. You go ahead and be a good house servant to the mass of boy, hoping for scraps and crumbs. As for me, you don't get to tell an adult how to dress. And they will punish any misconduct by removing people from the ship at their own expense. So basically, follow the rules or you can swim back in your high heels, Mary. So I would say the retraction of all this and the apology is too little too late. I'm afraid that this cruise company, Alan Chuck Travel, that has capitulated with these outlandish rules, especially given the circumstances, have lost all credibility within the quilt bag community. And frankly, I think they should. Because there are more colors in the rainbow flag than one, and the rainbow flag means all of us. It doesn't just mean gay. This was not a gay event. This was a quilt bag event. Queer, questioning, undecided, intersex, lesbian, trans, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, and gay.